Hello everyone, my name is M. Sudhir Kumar, working as an assistant professor of mathematics, MLR Institute of Technology. This lecture, we are going to cover inverse Laplace transform of derivatives and inverse Laplace transform of integrals. Let us see what is inverse Laplace transform of derivatives. So, if L inverse of f bar of s is f of t, this is basic definition of inverse Laplace transform, then inverse Laplace of nth derivative f bar of n of s is nth derivative of f bar of s that is defined as minus 1 whole power n t power n into f of t or we can also write it as f of t is equal to you divide with minus 1 whole power n into t power n into f l inverse of f bar of s right now let us see one problem on it find l inverse of log of s plus 3 upon s plus 4 so first let us see what is f bar of s so let us take f bar of s as log of s plus 3 by s plus 4 log a by b can be written as log a minus log a b so log s plus 3 minus log of s plus 4 now for this function f bar of s let us apply inverse laplace transform uh, before that let us differentiate this d by ds of f bar of s so derivative of log of s plus 3 is 1 by s plus 3 minus 1 upon s plus 4 first identify f bar of s then you differentiate it with respect to s now apply l inverse l inverse of d by ds of f bar of s so l inverse of 1 upon s plus 3 minus 1 upon s plus 4 what is l inverse of 1 by s plus 3 this can be written as e power minus 3 t and l inverse of 1 by s plus 4 means e power minus 40. So now I want l inverse of f bar of s. This is l inverse of d by ds of f bar of s. So therefore l inverse of f bar of s can be written as minus 1 by t into whatever function we get here you just write down e power minus 3t minus e power minus 40. This is how we find L inverse using derivatives. Now let us see one more problem on it. Find inverse Laplace of cot inverse of s plus a upon b. So cot inverse of s plus a by b. So this function let us take it as f bar of s. f bar of s is equal to cot inverse of s plus a by b now let us differentiate this with respect to s d by ds of f bar of s that is what is derivative of cot inverse of s plus a by b minus 1 by s square plus a square so on simplifying this derivative of cot inverse of s plus a by b we get minus b by s plus a whole square plus b square this, this is the derivative of cot inverse of s plus a by b now let us apply inverse laplace on it so l inverse of d by ds of f bar of s this is l inverse of minus b by s plus a whole square plus b square now let us apply first shifting theorem here this can be written as e power minus a t into l inverse of minus b by s square plus b square this is l inverse of d by ds of f bar of s how we are writing this a power minus a t means by using first shifting theorem right now we want l inverse of f bar of s 
as per the statement of inverse Laplace transform on derivatives, this is minus 1 by t into this value. So, e power minus a t, what is L inverse of minus b by a square plus b square? This is b into 1 by a sin a t, here a means b, so 1 by b sin b t. So, b b get cancelled, this is e power minus a t by t into sin b t. This is how we find inverse Laplace transform of derivatives. Now, let us see inverse Laplace transform of integrals. We know that L inverse of f bar of s is f of t. So, we want L inverse of f bar of s, this can be written as t into L inverse of integral s to infinity f bar of s ds or if I want to find inverse Laplace of integral s to infinity f bar of s ds. So, this t I am taking this i outside. So, 1 by t l inverse of f bar of s. Right. Now, let us see how to find the inverse Laplace transform. For example, find l inverse of 2s by s square minus 4 whole square. Let us take f bar of s as 2s by s square minus 4 whole square. Now, to find L inverse, let us apply this formula. So, L inverse of f bar of s, this, this is t into inverse Laplace of integral s to infinity, f bar of s means 2s by s square minus 4 whole square ds. So, first find integration of this and let us then apply inverse Laplace transform. So, this can be written as t into L inverse of what is integration of 2s by s square minus 4 whole square is minus 1 by s square minus 4 and the limits are s to infinity. Right. Now, let us apply the limits for this. So, upper limit is 0. So, this can be written as t into L inverse of upper limit 0 minus lower limit minus of minus plus. So, 1 upon s square plus 4. So, this can be written as what is L inverse of 1 by s square plus 4 that is 1 by 2 sin 8 sorry s square minus 4. This is s square minus 4. So, 1 by a sin h a t. This is sin h a t. A means what? 2. So, sin h 2 t. Therefore, L inverse of f bar of s is t by 2 sin h 2 t. This is how we find the inverse Laplace transform by using integrals. Let us see one more example. Find L inverse of s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 whole square. Now, let us see how to apply this L inverse. Let us take f bar of s as 1 upon sorry s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 whole square. So, for this to apply L inverse by using the statement, this can be written as t into L inverse of this complete thing integral s to infinity f bar of s that is s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 whole square ds. 
Now, what is the integration of this s plus 2 by s square plus 4 s plus 5 whole square? So, this can be written as t into l inverse of this integration of f dash of s by f of s ds is f of s whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1. If you take this as s square plus 4s, derivative is 2s, but here we have only s plus 2. So, let us multiply and divide with 2. So, this can be written as 1 by 2 into. So, integration of s plus 2 by square plus 4s plus 5, this can be written as minus 1 upon s square plus 4s plus 5. So, limits are s to infinity. So, this can be written as t into, let us take this 2 outside, t by 2 l inverse of upper limit is 0 minus of minus lower limit 1 upon s square plus 4s plus 5. So, we have substituted the limits upper limit and lower limit. Now, let us apply l inverse, inverse Laplace transform and then multiply with t by 2. So, this can be written as t by 2 into what is l inverse of 1 by square plus 4 s plus 5. So, this denominator can be written as s plus 2 whole square plus 1 s square plus 4 s plus 5 can be written as s plus 2 whole square plus 1. So, this can be written as t, of, t by 2 this l inverse of 1 by s plus 2 whole square plus 1. You, can be evaluated using first shifting theorem. So, using first shifting theorem, here we have s plus 2. So, let us multiply with e power minus 2 t inverse Laplace of 1 upon s square plus 1 within brackets how we calculated by using first shifting theorem. So, this can be written as t by 2 e power minus 2 t. What is L inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 is 1 by a sin a t. So, a means 1 sin t. Therefore, L inverse of f bar of s is t by 2 e power minus 2 t sin t. This is how we find the inverse Laplace transform of integrals. So, till now we have covered inverse Laplace of derivatives inverse Laplace transform of integrals. Next lecture we will be seeing problems on multiplication bias and division bias using inverse Laplace transform. Thank you.